Hey, what's up everyone? James Adam here with Expert Web Consulting. And today in this video, I'm going to be hitting you with some extreme knowledge, maybe sprinkled with a little bit of awesome on top, just for good measure. And I'm going to be doing that by talking about a psychological sales technique called reciprocity. Again, this is, this is a sales psychology term, and it can be very powerful in helping any business get an edge on their competition and win over customers for the long term. This technique can be used by any business right from their business website right on their home page so in the very off chance that you're sitting in a chair that has a seat belt attached to it you might want to buckle it up because this knowledge might hit you pretty hard and I don't want anyone falling out of their chair and risking a chance of injury but if you don't have a seat belt attached to your chair just brace yourself and if the knowledge hits you too hard you can always press the pause button wait for a few minutes to catch your breath and then just continue on so to get started what is reciprocity the definition of reciprocity is the expectation that people will respond to each other in similar ways, responding to gifts and acts of kindness from others with similar benevolence of their own, and responding to harmful, hurtful acts from others with either indifference or some form of retaliation. And so basically, however you treat me, I'm going to treat you back. And this is a social norm that has been around for as long as we have been as human beings. The word reciprocity is coined off the word reciprocation, which means a mutual exchange. And that's something that is believed to have been developed in human societies long, long ago to help with the survival of our species. If a person wanted something, they had to trade something of their own, like a good or a service or shelter. This mutual exchange allowed for the survival and the progression of society, and it has held true ever since. It is now used every single day within every functioning society in the world. So, the principle of reciprocity says that if you give me something, I should give you something back, or at least feel like I should give you something back, or owe you a favor, or owe you money, because it's now deeply embedded into our minds psychologically to not want to feel indebted to people. That's why if someone gives us a gift or does a nice gesture for us, we feel the need to repay them back somehow. This is an unconscious thought process that we don't even think about, but it happens every single day. A few examples of this are, if someone invites you to a party, you should feel like you should invite them to one of your parties in the future. If you were to move into a new apartment and a friend helped you move, you'd probably, you'd probably repay them somehow. Maybe offer to take them out to eat, pay them money, maybe buy them a case of beer, something like that. If someone loaned you money when you were in a crunch, you would be thankful and, and you would, you'd be thankful that they loaned you money. And in the future, if they were ever in a crunch and asked for a loan, you would be more likely to give them that loan since they gave you alone in the first place. It's this feeling of owing, some, of owing someone that is called reciprocity. Smart businesses understand this psychological feeling in people and they use it all the time in their business marketing and on their websites to make people want to do business with them more. And in this video I'm going to explain exactly how they do that. Okay, so how is reciprocity used in business marketing? So for example, we have a business over here. The first thing that business wants to do before anything else is give away a free gift to their potential customers through the website. No matter what industry this business is in, people will most likely find them through their website. So it's good to think of something complimentary to give people right away, right from their website, right from the home page. This complimentary gift can be, can be anything, but it must have good value in it. And, and again, it should be right there from the, on the home page. It can be free coupons, free downloadable ebook. Uh, about something specific in that industry, a video of them teaching something about the industry, um, because giving giving free information is also considered a free gift. It, it could also be a subscription or a free newsletter. It doesn't really matter as long as it's something that the target audience would want to use or want to know about. After all, they are on the internet searching for something, so you might as well provide them with what they're looking for. And anytime something is given away for free on a website, it just created that opportunity to build reciprocity and that feeling of indebtedness. The idea is to give first, not make the customer have to buy something in order to get something for free. The business should be willing to give first. And when a business does this through their website, the customer will start to feel those good vibes towards the company and they'll trust them a little bit more. They'll feel more comfortable because that business is now showing that they're willing to reach out and offer something to their customers. And this builds that psychological, emotional relationship with that potential customer from the ground up, right off the bat, as soon as they're getting to that website. And after they receive the free gift, the business is now in a whole, a whole new light. They're no longer a stranger, and they're now someone who has already provided great value to that person's life for the price of nothing. 
Because of this, they'll want to go out and check out more of the website, and this is where the business part comes in. Keep in mind, though, that the website still needs to have great content on it and must do a great job of displaying professionalism. One free gift won't automatically sell their products and services, but it's a great aid in the sales process. It helps build that emotional relationship right off the bat, and that is very important, especially if that business is new in town and trying to compete with some of the bigger and more established businesses. But of course, it's great for any business to be using. Because too many businesses go about trying to sell their products and services all wrong. They're only focusing on the one-way aspect of it. And they expect their potential customers to find their website where they brag about how good, where the business brags about how good they are and what they can do. And, and while it's important to talk about this, th those things, it's also very important to take that extra step further and offer something for free. Because then you can trigger that unconscious psychological aspect of reciprocity where customers will consider doing business with you a little bit more. So that is the idea behind reciprocity and how it is, it, it's supposed to be working in business marketing. Okay, a hypothetical example. Let's pretend that you own a website that sells video cameras. One thing you might do is give away a free downloadable ebook from your homepage. Uh, you, you might have a link that people can click on that lets them download a PDF file and they can read it right there from their computer and get instant value from it. Right here underneath my video you can click on a link that says download this in PDF format. If you click on that link you can download this whole presentation as just a text a text paper so you can read it right there from your computer. Now if you have a website you could offer you could just as easily offer something like a free ebook or a guide or something about video cameras for instance. You might make it on the best things to look for when shopping for a video camera, or what settings work the best when filming outdoors or, or for close-ups, or the best selling video cameras uh, of the year. Anything like this that has great value in it that that target audience would probably want to know. It doesn't have to be big, but it must contain valuable information in it in order to start building that relationship with that potential customer. The person will then look at that guide, they'll get valuable, free information, and they'll be happy with your website right away. And this is perceived as a gift. Now they're more comfortable with your business. They'll trust you a little bit more. And because of this, they'll go back to your website. And their chances of buying from, from the website are greatly increased. Because now, not only do you have them looking at the website, looking at video cameras, they're now shop, shopping on your website for whatever else you're selling. Video camera bags, those little tapes that you put into the recorder. DVD players, DVDs, or whatever other electronics or whatever products you're selling on that website. And even if they don't decide to buy from you right away, they'll remember you in that downloadable e-guide that you gave them. Maybe they'll keep that around for future reference, and that just increases the chances that they'll come back to you in the future. So that's just a quick scenario of how a business could use this sales technique right from their website. Now after a sale is made, keep in mind that the relationship does not end. A smart business will also use reciprocity to help ensure that they keep those customers and in turn turn them into long-term customers. They do this by sending them a thank you card in the mail after their purchase. Maybe even a thank you card six months later or a Christmas card that simply says, thanks for choosing us, we wish you a Merry Christmas. This is also considered a reciprocity because you're still giving to people in the form of a thank you and that makes people feel good and it also says a lot about the business when they do this. Also you could offer a special promo code or a discount on their next purchase. Those are good ideas as well to say thank you. Another thing you can do is just give customers a simple phone call that says thank you. For example, I use GoDaddy to host some of my websites. The other day I got a phone call from them, which I didn't answer because I was at work, but they left a voicemail and when I went back and checked my voicemail later that day, it was just a short message that said, hey, this is GoDaddy, we just wanted to call and say thank you, we appreciate your business. It was short and sweet and to the point and I was pretty surprised that, that they, they called me and it was just a nice gesture for them to do and I felt like I was appreciated and, and that they appreciated my business. So these are all great ideas that, that good businesses use to, to make customers feel like uh, you know, that they're appreciated. But let me say this, many times businesses will try and do something like this but they, they give away something that's either a watered down cheap version of their product or just something to download that has virtually no value in it at all and it's more of a waste of time than anything else. And the business expects to get to get people to buy, you know, to get business from people that way. I mean, those can actually hurt the business more than it can help because they're just, the business is only displaying themselves as a cheap, watered-down business, and it can ruin the chance to win over customers. And they they would have had a better chance to of just not giving away anything at all. 
So any time that something is given away as a gift on a website, it should be done genuinely to genuinely provide value to the customer and to show that there, there's a desire to improve the customer's lives with no expectation of return. You shouldn't just do it to try and get business because that's that's going about it the wrong way and you're, you're missing the point there. And if this can be done right, then it can really boost the company's image. One, one thing I want to make sure to cover in this video is that there are people out there who disagree with using reciprocity. Some people think it's wrong and they think it's a way of tricking people into getting their business or trying to get something from them. For example, let's say you're in a movie theater and you walk up to the concession stand and the lady working behind the concession stand says she's, she's with a charity organization and they're giving out free popcorn. So she gives you a free bag of popcorn and well that's great. But then you look down and you see a big jar that says, please give us your change or offer a donation to our charity. Well, you, you, probably, you, know, you probably have a better chance of throwing some change since they gave you popcorn or maybe you even, you even hand them a $5 bill or $10 or $20. You know? And this is reciprocity at work. That charity organization is using that to get money from people. Now, granted, this may be the best charity organization in the world and you may have donated money no matter what. But this is an example of why people think that it's just it's, it can be used as just a way to trick people into giving away their money uh, to an organization. Now I'm not going to sit here and preach about whether it's wrong or whether it's right. I just wanted to cover it and make it known that some people don't agree with it, and it's kind of a debated topic out there on the internet. If you look around, you'll find some discussion on it. But then again, there's always going to be people who disagree with something, no matter what it is. So take that for what it's worth. But I think as far as business is concerned, I think it's a great way to give your customers a glimpse of who you are by offering them something of real value to their lives. Something that says, we care about you, we want to improve your life, take this gift from us. I think it's a great way for a business to stand apart from the other ones who don't do that. Another thing that you see quite often is when businesses offer free shipping for items. This is considered reciprocity because this is another way of saying thanks for doing business with us. This isn't, as, this isn't as strong because you actually have to buy something first, but it is still a form of reciprocity. And when customers first see that the business offers free shipping, they do immediately feel like they're getting value already, and it can start to build that relationship. And a few more examples are you could provide free video tutorials, kind of like my website does. Uh, a dentistry might make uh, a video on free tips on brushing your teeth or what to look for in a toothbrush. A mechanic shop could post videos on car maintenance and put them on their website or even on YouTube and just have a link that goes back to their website and that's super easy to do and free. You don't even need a web designer to do that. You, know, you can just make free videos and put them on YouTube and put a link under it that directs people back to the website. The more idea, a few more ideas are given free podcasts, offering free trial periods, free monthly coupons to download and there are many other ideas. All it takes is just a little brainstorming session to come up with some creative ways to, to be doing some of this stuff. All right. So in conclusion, just know that reciprocity is a natural part of human psychology and communication. And in business, it is something that is meant to be understood and implemented into marketing as a way to effectively communicate with customers and to help establish a real connection with them. Remember that complimentary things build trust, confidence, and credibility toward the brand because it makes the business more transparent. This is very important, especially if it's a new or smaller business trying to compete with some of the bigger, more established ones. This can give a huge advantage over whoever is using it over their co competitors who aren't using it. If you own a business and you're not using this technique but your competitors are, think about how many customers they could be getting instead of you because they're doing this and you're not. Being genuine is the key. When offering a free gift, it should be done with the customer in mind, not the business in mind. Providing great extraordinary value for nothing will cause customers to be forever grateful, and they're more likely to buy from that business over others. And even if they don't buy right away, there's a better chance that they'll come back in the future and buy. They're also more likely to spread the word about that business. They might tweet about it or like it on Facebook, and this will influence others to look in that business direction as well. But it all starts with being genuine with being genuinely caring about improving the lives of the customers and this is how you can show that. So that's all I've got for you today in this video. I want to thank you for checking it out and I hope you learned something from it. And when any business is doing these things and doing them the right way, it can really give them a boost and just give them an edge over any competitors who aren't using these types of sales techniques. 
And if you own a business, um, you shouldn't just go around telling people how great it is. You should actually show them, give them something that says, check out our product. We're really proud of it. And we care about you. We want to improve your life. Take this gift from us. And when you, if you can do that right, it's really going to, it's really going to help give you a boost. All right. So the bottom line for this video in seven words, give away something free from your website. All right. So again, thank you very much for watching this video. My name is James Annan with Expert Web Consulting and um, good luck in any business endeavors that you may come across and I hope everyone out there has a great day. Thank you.